Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Kurt A20 fifth wheel trailer hitch. This is a very heavy duty fifth wheel trailer hitch that's going to mount in your truck bed and allow you to pull your fifth wheel trailer. This is going to fit your 2020 and newer GMC Sierra 2500 heavy duty and 3500 heavy duty, as well as your Chevrolet Silverado 2500 heavy duty and 3500 heavy duty. All of those with the eight foot bed and the factory installed towing prep package. With that factory uh, prep package, you are going to be able to just drop this into place with that puck system. You can see we've got our feet on the bottom here. So when we have these handles pulled out to the side, that's going to allow us to just lower it down into that puck system and then turn the handle there to lock it in place. And then we'll just reinstall this pin to make sure those handles don't swing out. Uh, so it's gonna be very fast and easy to get this all set up using that uh, factory tow package that you already have. Uh, so it's gonna be much easier than some of the other systems out there. This is a very sturdy, uh, well-built um, fifth wheel hitch. It's got a steel construction, so it's gonna hold up well, be very strong. It's also got a carbide powder coat finish to help resist uh, rust and corrosion, so should last you a nice long time, do a good job for you. As far as our gross tow weighting, we're gonna have a 2,000 pound uh, weight rating. We have a vertical load limit of 5,000 pounds, so very heavy duty, gonna do a good job pulling that fifth wheel trailer for you. You can see on the front, we do have the interlocking jaw system. So if I undo this pin, pull out and pull back, you can see those jaws coming apart. Now they're ready to be coupled. So we just open it up like that and then we'll be ready to back our truck up to our trailer. I do have a model kingpin here for you so you can see how that process is gonna work. So as you back up to your trailer, that kingpin pushes back into the jaws and they slowly close around it and then lock into place. So it's gonna be nice and secure. That jaw system does give you a 360 degree uh, contact. So it's gonna be a lot more secure in your slide bar models uh, that just kind of sl slide into place. Uh, so this is a really nice design. It's gonna give you a lot less rattle and more security. Uh, so it's a great option there. On the back side, we do have a three point indicator system. So uh, we can see this from our cab as we're backing up, uh, getting ready to hook up or disconnecting. You can see where we're at. So we've got the green circle, which means that it is ready to tow. So our kingpin is nice and secure inside the jaws there. If we were to pull this out, pull it forward, you can see it goes to that red, which means that it's uh, ready to uncouple. So the kingpin is still in place. It's ready for us to pull the truck forward to disconnect. And then when we are disconnected, it goes into that yellow, which means that it is ready to couple. So we have it, the jaws wide open, ready to back up to our trailer. So that's gonna give us a lot of peace of mind as we can see from our cab, make sure that everything is connected so that when we do back up into uh, our trailer, we can see when the kingpin finally locks into place around the, or when the jaws lock into place around the kingpin, we're gonna have that visual indication, make sure that everything is nice and connected. We also have a lockable handle here. So you might not be able to see, but there's a little hole on the top so that when it's closed in place, we can insert this pin here. Or if you like, you can also use a padlock, which is not included, but could easily be added on there uh, so that this handle will not disengage from our kingpin, keeps everything nice and secure so you don't have to worry about someone taking off with your trailer. This is a single throw operation as I demonstrated, so you just pull the handle out and pull it open. Uh, when you have it, uh, the kingpin is released. Let's go ahead and just demonstrate that for you. So when you pull out on the handle, then you pull back 
the jaws are automatically going to rest in that ready to couple position uh, so that as soon as you detach from your trailer, it's ready to hook up again. So you got a lot of uh, quick turnaround there if you're uh, hooking up or detaching from one and hooking up to another, it's gonna be ready for you. This is a uh, fully articulating model. So it's got a torsion head so that it's gonna kinda uh, hold some of that shock, road shock. Uh, as that moves around, it's gonna make it much more sturdy. Uh, you're not gonna have a lot of that uh, road shock that you would normally have because it's going to absorb some of that. It's gonna make it uh, much less noisy when you're towing, and it's going to help make it easier when you're hooking up. It's gonna help self-align. Uh, so that torsion head is gonna be really nice. Part of this, you're gonna have axles in both directions, so uh, very nice. You also have two built-in grease zerks here on the head. Let me close this back up so you can see those better. Put our kingpin back in. You can see we got a grease zerk there and one there. So it's going to be very easy to keep everything lubricated and working properly. Uh, our head does have a height adjustment on it. Uh, so you can see over here we've got some of these extra holes. This plate does have uh, several different holes going down so you can adjust the height of your head for different towing operations. So it's going, I'm gonna give you a four inch height adjustment. So you can go from 13 inches up to 17 inches. So uh, if you've got different height trailers that you're hooking up to, uh, it will give you all those options to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. Go ahead and take that kingpin out of there. This does have a uh, fast removing head. So you can see we've got the one pin on the front here. Just disconnect that. And then on the back side, we can pull that out. And that's going to allow us to lift up on this head to remove it. It's much easier to do when you actually have this installed. It does take a little bit of oomph to get it out, seat, unseated from the uh, legs and body. But once you have that removed, it's gonna make it much easier to load and unload. If you're uh, disconnecting, taking it out of your truck bed, a lot of your fifth wheel hitches, I, I've never seen one that isn't heavy. So it can be a pain to lift, take it out, put it back in place. So being able to quickly remove the head like that, it's gonna make it much easier to maneuver. Obviously two pieces are gonna be lighter than the one combined piece. So. That's a nice option there to make it very easy and quick to uh, get this out of place and put back in place. Um, this does come with a limited lifetime warranty from Kurt. Uh, if you were to have any problems with it, they're a good company to work with and you can contact us here at eTrailer.com. We'd be happy to help you as well. Uh, but I don't think you're gonna have any problems. I think this is a really sturdy, solid fifth wheel hitch. That's gonna be a great option for you if you're uh, if you have a truck with that factory tow package in it, I think, they, <laughs> I think this is going to be a great option for you. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.